So me and dad picked up this old AMC Rambler amongst a bunch of other old cars that were just sitting out up in the woods for years. Uh, it's pretty evidence that this thing hasn't been on the road for a long time now. Uh, so we're just going to try to dig into it, uh, see if we can maybe get this thing up and running, uh, see if we can move it under its own power, heck, maybe even make a block or two with it. I guess we'll try to go ahead and, well that metal's hot, hot. <laughs> yeah, try to get this thing open. I know the hood hinges are rusty on it because right. I couldn't get it to open up out there. Be careful because they may, something may have rolled in with you, so. I don't want to bend the hood up. Grab it back over in there. Stupid latch keeps hanging. Tough, ain't it? Yes. If we can get it open enough to spray some. Oh, wow. I can't tell a whole lot, but it looks like it's going to be a good one. Let's get some spray and spray in there. I think I can spray it. I can't see now we could back. probably go ahead and just take the hood off, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that would. Wouldn't have to worry that'd about. That'd be better if we could. That way, it's. I'm not hitting my head on it every time. Looks I... like about a half inch or nine sixteenths. Right. I'll grab some ratchets. Rather just get it off, and then we can soak down them hinges and let it, you know, right. settle off. So we're gonna just a hair. Okay, that's it. Got it. Probably just set it up here on the roof. Okay. Floor. It's hot. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my gosh, that's oh, a wow. lot rougher than it looked through the crack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's the busiest mouse home I've ever seen in my life up underneath the hood. Yeah, you can see a yeah. little den or something yeah, there, huh? Big hole right here. I don't know if it's something that's <laughs> crawled through that or and something. And good news, the oil filters. Oh yeah. Easy access. Wow. Yeah, that's about the only thing. I mean, the carburetor's at least up out of it, but yeah. Well, where do you start on something like this? <laughs> Probably should have looked up underneath here before we shot the intro of it running yeah. under its own power. Yeah. But a lot of these that look this rough, we've been able to get them going somehow. I guess we'll go get some trash cans some and start. Gloves and yeah. Something I know as tight as that stuff's packed in there, we'll have to dig it out by hand at first. Right. Then get a vacuum or water hose or air or something and spray it out. I guess this is my side with the den or? <laughs> yeah, of course. Go grab some gloves and some cans and see what we can dig through it. I'll poke this thing down in there and see yeah. something. Make something run out. Yeah. Man, that is thick in there. Yes, it is. Got you a little right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it'll do any good or not, but. Yeah. Makes you wonder how long it takes something to do that much. You yeah. can't see a spark plug wire, a distributor, or anything. I'm wondering, are they bringing it in a leaf at a time? <laughs> I mean, because you'd have to bring it in by the mouthful. Yeah. To make any kind of time, that would still take right. forever. <laughs> well, found the top of the distributor. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the wires are actually untouched, it looks like. Okay. Look at that. Covered them up before they got a chance to I chew them up. I thought it was some kind of a rubber boot they pulled in there too, but... Good grief. I found the, the exhaust. Not a lot of sticks and stuff, huh? Just no, just mainly leaves. A bunch like. of little leaves. Dirt. I think I'm getting a little braver than what I need to. That's <laughs> well, I, I just thought I'm just gonna reach in and grab. And... At least starting to see some fresh air around it. I got a hole over here. I'm able to push a lot of mine and let it drop down to the bottom. And oh yeah. Hopefully it's going all the way to the ground. I see the generator. I think we're missing the coal here, the coal as well. A coal bracket. Who knows why this thing was parked? Right. They see the outline of an inline six cylinder. <laughs> huh? We 
we might be able to go get that blower once we kind of get it. Yeah, because a lot of mine, like I said, there's not a lot of sticks. It's just packed full of everything else. I'm really amazed though that a lot of this wiring on it is still there. It's not completely gone. Fuel pump. Well, I had all the goodies on my side. I still haven't even found a dipstick yet, so it must be on your side too. Is there a belt running to that water pump on there? Or? I was just wondering if the thing would turn over by hand or not. Yeah, there's a belt there. Oh boy, it is packed down there for sure. Really? Yeah. Let me go get that. They had a spot where they could get it in between two things and really. Let me go get that blower. It feels like, it looks, it looks like we've dug this out of the ground. <laughs> looks like we dug it and found a treasure. Never did find a dipstick on my side. Don't know enough about these to know exactly where it would have been. Spark plugs look rough. I'm gonna go grab that blower and just try okay. to blow a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Big old clump of turds right there. Boy, the side of this block is rusty. Try to get it on your side. Yeah, your apparently way. they had some moisture. Woo! Yeah, that thing's got some. Oh. See any battery cables yet, or? Not yet. I see a battery tray. Right. There's a, there's a ground. I say it's ground. No, that goes to start it. Yeah. I ain't gonna have no brakes, which I just knew that, but the master cylinder shot. Right? I wonder if the dipstick's in the filler neck right there. Yep. Yep. Woo-wee, that does not look good, does it? Well, at least there is a little oil on it. Very rusty, ain't it? Yeah. All right, now I get, this thing's got to be locked up. Try to get a little bit more over here. I think that's got it good enough. There's a such thing. Well, do we want to try to pull these plugs or I guess we could get a I think. We're gonna have to get a ground wire though to yeah. even see if the starter's any count. So you say it runs straight down to the starter yeah, the there? The starter's right here. So the seal noise just right on the yep. side of the starter. Yep, right on top of it. So we've just about got this engine compartment cleaned up. Uh, the best it's gonna be in the amount of time that we've spent on it so far. You can at least see the shape of the block now and we found the distributor. Uh, we found the fuel pump down low and a bunch of other stuff of we're gonna need to mess with on here. Uh, this by far has to be the worst engine I've ever seen uh, just covered up with mouse debris or whatever road and brought all, all this stuff in. Bunch of little small stuff, so that had to take a lot of time. Uh, what our goal is right now is to obviously get this car running, but we wanna see if the motor's gonna turn over or not. So we're gonna try to get a battery on it, see if the starter works, pull these plugs out. We may have to just turn it over by hand, uh, but all in all, that's the goal, is just to see if we can get the motor to turn over anyways, and then we'll move further on from there. At least a battery tray does look like it'll hold a battery. Kinda, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these plugs out or attempt okay. to. There we go. 
Ugh. Oh, golly. Full of rust all the way packed in there. That ain't a good sign. No, it's not. What do you think? Will it turn over? Or? <laughs> I don't know. I would have said the way our luck's been on them, probably so, but with them plugs looking like that, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty. Pretty good indication that it shouldn't. I'm gonna try to spray as much of this WD-40 down in here as I can get. So I think this thing is actually a little, a 195, like a 3.2 liter or something. Oh yeah. Any luck? Yeah, I just can't hardly get my fingers to operate with me. I can see it. If you can get it on the wire that runs off the ignition switch, you can always connect up here on the battery on the other one. Okay. I got it on both of them. Got them? Yep. So we're gonna make sure it's out of gear. In case we luck out. Ugh, those need some oil too. Golly. The inside is about the same as underneath the hood, ain't it? <laughs> about a foot deep over there in the passenger seat. Ugh. It stinks in here too. I think it's in neutral, but I can't get the I can't get the shifter to move much. So we're gonna see. We'll find out real quick. I'm gonna touch it so we're gonna find out if anything. No sparking, huh? I don't see no smoke anywhere. I don't think it's even gonna try. I bet we're gonna have to persuade that starter to do some work again. Ready? Yeah. Nothing. Sure, you got it down there on the starter good? Yeah. Let me get a little hammer we can tap that starter with. Nothing, huh? There it is. Trying a little bit, ain't it? Yep. Hey, what? Oh. It's gonna be that. I bet it's gonna be that cable there. So they ain't sending no current down there to that. Not enough. To. Not enough. We can see if we can find another uh, cable, cable and try that. In worst case scenario, we'll pull the starter off, I guess. Okay. So right now we're just getting a very little click down there at the starter on the solenoid. Uh, we had to run a new uh, ground cable, which all we had was a hot cable to run that with, but it'll do the job none the same. Uh, so what I think now is we need to go ahead and replace our positive cable here. So we'll have to look around, see if we have another one. See if we're just not getting the juice down to the starter the way we need to. Then worst case scenario, if that doesn't work, we'll just pull the starter off where we can mark on it externally out here, get it to spinning over, and then see if the motor will spin over after that. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little transmission fluid down in these cylinders while okay. getting at that. Well, hopefully it'll do something more than what it was. You can hook down there or up here? I just hook up there, that way we know for sure it's... Right 
Ready? Yeah. That's sign, huh? Yep. Nothing now. I hear it just lightly. I can, I, I can feel it. Ooh, it's warm. Huh. Well, may have to clean it, pull it off then, and try to clean it up and see. See how it does outside. Or we still don't even know. I mean, we could. I'd say we'd try to turn it over by hand, but can't get to it. Can't really get in there. It'd be a lot easier to see if it'll turn over with the starter. Right. So we went ahead and just took the starter off this car so we could clean it up a little bit. Uh, got it going on the outside, so now we got it back on the car. Uh, hopefully we can, once we get everything hooked back up, it'll at least to try to turn over a little bit more than what it was, and we'll know whether or not if this motor's locked up. If it is, and we're gonna have to, you know, wait it out, get on that crank, which will mean pulling out the radiator and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully we'll just see what it does now, and maybe it'll turn over for us. I'm gonna get out of the way in case it shoots all that transmission all right. fluid. <laughs> Trying, but it ain't. She locked up, ain't she? She's locked up. Hmm. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to pull that loose to get on that crank. Yep. Not trying much, so. is it? No. May just need to let that stuff set overnight. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting to have problems with shadows and stuff. Hard to see film-wise, I'm sure, anyways. Right. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do, we've made a little bit of headway today. We've got the engine compartment cleaned out where you can actually tell what's up underneath the hood of this car. Uh, we got the starter. It, it is working. It, it doesn't sound like it is, but that's because the motor's locked up. So there was a lot of rust on them old spark plugs in there. So there's going to be a lot of rust in them cylinders as well. Sometimes you can let it set overnight. Sometimes it takes a week, sometimes a month. But I think tomorrow we'll pick up pulling this radiator out where we can get on that crank a little better. Uh, let it set overnight. Uh, maybe we can get it going to turn over then. Then we'll move on to the next problem. There we go. Anyway, there's a little bit of water in it. Is it going to come out? Uh, I actually smell antifreeze too. It's too. not just straight water. Let me get it flipped down here. And then we can bring it out at, at the last once this other one. There we go. It, it's not pretty antifreeze. Now, all right, I'll set it off to the side here. Let's we'll see what it does. Right. Try it or me? I'll give it a try. Nothing. It, it tightened just a hair, but. <laughs> try back the other way if you want to. But let me try. Yeah, let me go ahead and make sure. Keep trying. Because it, whenever I moved at that time, I could feel it tighten just right. a hair, and I hate for it to automatically be. Right on the verge of Maybe we can help the use the starter to help us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get it to move. Hopefully it's turning where it's clockwise.
Let me give it a whirl just for the fun of okay, it. Okay, you have to tighten it up a little yeah. bit. You know, it's got two extra bolts here. We might end up having to make a, a plate that'll allow us to go to backwards yeah. without it loosening off that bolt. See if I have a better kawami than you. I don't want to break it off, that's for no, sure. That was my, my concern. Did it feel like it could or like, cause I just feel like it's just still tightening. It, I mean, it was, it was still tightening, but it just felt like I don't want to break it off. Going to bump it? Yeah, you can try. We well, might need to pull that valve cover off too and just kind of see what everything looks like up underneath it. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it just still keeps turning and it's not the it's not the crank, it's just the bolt. Right. Now that we've got everything pulled loose off the front of this car, we are able to get down there on the crank boat. Uh, but it's not real big, just a three quarter inch size head on it. So uh, we're able to, the bolt's tightening in, in the inside the crank there more or it'll loosen off. Uh, but the actual crank is not turning over at all. So we're kind of afraid we're gonna break this bolt off. And if we do that, we're really in a mess. So there's actually two other bolts on each side of the middle of that crank bolt. We might be able to make a little plate uh, to help us to get more torque on it and not have to worry about bolts breaking off. Uh, we may also try to pull this valve cover off real quick and just see what it looks like up in there. Very well could have be fighting some stuck uh, valves on it as well. So I think we're just going to tear that off right now. At least see what it looks like up underneath there. There it goes. Yeah, kind of rusty, ain't it? Kind of dry. One thing about it, though, it's not real grimy. No. Did you ever see how many miles was on this thing? I do not even remember seeing it. That's 22,000 on my odometer. I'm just going to leave the push rod tubes. Just leave them in there for right now. Yeah, we've got some stuck, stuck valves for sure. At least one. We'll spray them all down with that one right there. You see it's still oh, yeah. stuck open. Yeah, look like those two back ones may be also. Let's just try it with the starter. Just save a little energy right now. I know it ain't gonna do nothing, but. Yes, it is. It's gonna <laughs> fire right off. Or turn over at least. Ready? Everything's cleared. Let me get down on there again. I feel like it's a, a little bit more persuaded to, to go. I ain't gonna put a lot on it though, cause right. I'm I am afraid that thing's gonna break. All right. Come on, baby, turn over. No. I think I think we're gonna have to make some kind of a bracket to go down there on that crank, cause something you can get some actual oomph on. Because maybe if we just take a piece of metal with three holes in it, and then we can weld a nut or something on where where you can get on that nut. That way, it's it's grabbing in three spots on that rather than just that one middle bolt. Cause if right. we strip that out or break it off, then <laughs> then what do we do? Let's go do that. Or we can get these pulled out and then we can decide what, what kind of bracket, where the holes need to be. Maybe that'll work. 
So what we got going on here is we made just this simple adapter plate that's going to mount to the crank pulley down here. It actually had three bolts running through it. So what we were running into is we only had this small little three quarter inch bolt. Uh, and as much torque as we were having to put on it, it felt like the head was going to break off on it or the threads strip out on it. So uh, we just took a piece of quarter inch plate, uh, drilled a couple holes that'll mount up in them two bolt holes on the crankshaft pulley, uh, welded the biggest nut we could find on there. So we're just going to bolt it onto that pulley now, uh, see if we can get a bigger ratchet on there, and just try to work it forward back and forth in, see if it'll hopefully move then. If it don't move then, uh, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> Ratchet. I think it was a ratchet, yeah. The motor mounts are shot, ain't they? Yeah. That's hurting us too, because they're pulling the whole motor yeah. up. Hmm. Trying to go back that way again, or? I was just trying to get a little bit better more. Better bite. Yeah, that stinks. What was that, right? Something broke on the hole. Yeah, I don't know. Pull your ratchet, please. That does not look good. No. It looked like you know, the whole harmonic balancer broke, didn't it? I think it did. Let me see. Well, that ain't no count. Well, strange, I had more pressure on it a while ago than I did then. Ouch. I can't tell what happened. Oh, it looks like the... Uh, the ear on the... The ear on that harmonic balancer. Looks like it'll almost... Come off, don't come it? Come right out, don't it? You want me to try to pull it off? I don't see that we've got much other choice. I mean... If I can pull it right. off by hand, that would be great, because we can at least see what's... Or put a new one on it. Check that out. That's no good, is no, it? No, that's no good at all. Right there where the... Now the pin was right there. Trying to make sure I don't lose it. Let me see if I can't get some pliers. Got anything I can grab that with? Some needle nose uh, or needle something? Nose. Grab some. So our little uh, bracket was definitely strong enough to try to uh, turn this over, but maybe just a little bit too strong. It actually shattered the backside of our harmonic balancer here, which this is just cast, cast iron metal here. That stuff's real easy to break and it's, it's not really repairable once that happens. So we're gonna try to get the piece that's still stuck on the crankshaft off there. Maybe see if we can get a new harmonic balancer, but this, this thing is stuck good. I mean, it's been locked up for a while apparently. So we're gonna try to get that out and just make a game plan from there what we need to do next, I guess. So after doing a little searching, uh, surprisingly enough, we were able to track down a new harmonic balancer on this car. Uh, but being that the fact that we broke the original one, uh, we know this thing is locked up tight. So we're not about to try to put this back on right yet and just break this brand new part. I mean, this was right at 200 bucks for that. So uh, what we got going on now is we're just gonna come around here. We've actually went ahead and broke down all the brakes cause they were locked up tight when we drug this off the trailer. Uh, so now we got our brakes free. We just got this big old uh, ratchet here on the axle nut. We're gonna try to turn it over from there once I put it in gear, and maybe that'll allow the motor to turn over that way. So I'm gonna throw it in gear. Dad's gonna put a little weight on it and see if she moves. You wanna make sure that thing will spin over, I guess. Make sure it is. Oh yeah, stuck. we're neutral. Moving? Yeah. All right, you think first or? Yeah, I think first would be best. Ready? Should be it. Rocking the motor. Pretty stiff, huh? Yeah, I don't want to put too much and break something back here in this. Yeah, end. that's all we need is that rear end or transmission to snap for some reason. Give it another little. It don't even look like it's trying any up here. It says rocking, which is kind of not good because we're losing all of our. 
movement in the motor, you know. Oh, on the mounts, yeah. Yeah, it's just the mounts are bad. Which that looks like it's going clockwise. I guess we could try to go back the other way. The other way. We'll yeah. try it and see. We may have to get on the other side. I bet it loosens off that nut there. Should be good. Maybe it going backwards might help. Yeah, we're flexing the other way. Nothing though, huh? Not really. Like I said, I can feel it. Like something really bind. Let me try it real quick. I mean, you can feel it, it's flexing pretty. I don't know what's gonna. Uh-oh. I heard something. I think it moves some. Something moved a little bit. I heard something move, but. I put a mark on that. And it didn't move enough to tell. Who knows? It could have been the could have been the clutch. I sort of said to me, that's where it sounded like the the sound come from was further at the back. I'll try it on a little bit more. Like I said, I don't want to break something. I don't that drive shaft's pretty wimpy in itself. Right. But I guess if this we'll have to pull that head off, I guess. Right. See what it looks that like down in those cylinders. Maybe it'll give for them. <laughs> There's got to be a pretty significant amount of rust in those cylinders or down on that crank. Man, we may have to... That exhaust was longer than I thought it was. Oh, uh, yeah. Can't really tell on those cylinders yet, huh? Not really. Good grief. Uh, I'm just going to take it from here, okay? Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay. Oh gosh, it's way heavier than I thought it'd be. Man. Woo wee. That was back. That second cylinder from the back is rough. How's it look there? We're going to have to get that out, ain't we? Well, there's some. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. your crud in them. Let this, me. Uh, this one is full of it. I said it's. Wow. And that's the one you said was. This front one here. I mean, this very back one is. I never expected those pistons to be shaped like that. I didn't either. That's what I thought at first. I thought Let me uh, turn that compressor on and we'll suck this fluid out of here where we can okay. see it a little better. So we've got the head tore off of it now. I noticed on the back side of the head, there's a lot of rust on the. Uh, second cylinder from the back of the motor there. Uh, we're gonna si or we're gonna suck out all this transmission fluid and the diesel and everything we've tried to get this thing to unstick, uh, get it pulled out of there where we can actually see what kind of debris. We can tell there's a lot of trash and dirt in it, but once we get that sucked out, we'll know a little better and go from there, I guess. Kind of working. Yeah. Makes you wonder though, how did it get so bad? They're pissing in this one? <laughs> yeah, they're great. It's all the way down on it. It is. Got a bunch of nasty in it too. Yeah. Yeah, I seen I don't that know one. if we did that when we pulled that off or. I don't maybe that's why it got water down in there. Maybe if that right. was allowed the head gas, you had a bad spot and was See, allowing that water. One, that was bent, ain't bent it? Bent upwards, so. Yeah, definitely. Hard to Freaking. say. So yeah, just to show you guys, that is not supposed to be down in your cylinders. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know how or why it got this bad a shape in there, but that was probably a lot of the reasoning of why this thing's not turning over. Just hopefully it's not the same way down in the block on the crank and stuff. So just got to get this all cleaned out and start at it again.
And it's every one of them that's full of it. I mean, it's yeah. It's not just one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this head gasket uh, off. getting some of it, ain't it? Yeah. At least we get that cleaned out, we can let some more stuff soak down in there. Because it looks like that was blocking all yeah, of it. Yeah, so. it's pretty nasty stuff down in there. Like I said, at least it is all soft and not, the, the walls don't look real, uh, you know, scored pitted or up pitted, or, yeah, yeah, scored up or anything. But we want to be sure we get it cleaned out pretty good before we get it turning over too much. That should work, work enough. Yeah. Looks a lot better than it was. It's got it at least where we can see <laughs> pistons, not sludge. It's been a couple hours now that we've had this PB blaster sitting in all these cylinders. Uh, doesn't look like any of it has actually leaked down into the block, uh, but we're hoping that it still got into those rings just enough to kind of loosen them up just a little bit. So what we're going to do now is just try to get back there on that rear axle, uh, work it back and forth. We might try to bump it with the starter too just to see what it does, uh, but hopefully she tries to move for us. Nothing? Nothing. I got my full weight on it. I ain't seeing anything move. Can you kind of tap on those things maybe just a little bit? Now I'll keep some pressure on it. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm I can scared. See, I can see the tension come off the engine when you get off of it, but. Try that starter out, I guess. Not that I would feel like that'd be any stronger. No, I wouldn't think it would make any difference in the world. I mean, you had quite a bit of a bind on it. Oh. Moved, didn't yeah, it? I think I seen it move. Oh, yeah. yeah. How come is it moving? We've hit another spot, though. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wonder if I can go back and make it go backwards. Is it motor rocking this way, right? Yeah, it's coming back this so way. So it, it should be. It should be going, going that way to. Way. Well, praise God, at least it did move. So we're having to leave one side of the car on the rear end on the ground. Otherwise, if we have both sides up, uh, they'll just just sit there and spin with this uh, way this rear end set up. So on this side. We can get the motor to turn clockwise, where on the other side, we're turning it counterclockwise. So we're not getting a whole lot of headway on that way. So we're gonna try it on this side and see if maybe we can get it to break loose that point. in gear. Yeah. Well, that looks too easy. It's turning, but I don't know why. Is it moving? Because I'm sure moving out here. I can't tell that it is. It's not moving? If it's not, then I'm, it's real easy out here. I said, I can't tell that I am, but. You on it? Yeah. Uh -uh. 
I'm gonna, I think we need to put that thing back on it, the harmonic balancer. At this point, we ain't got much choice. We're just, if we're spinning out there, but we're not moving up here, that's doing no good. So we'll just get that harmonic balancer on there and know that we can't put a lot of oomph on it, but just right. find that back and forth spot and keep working it. See what it does. Yeah, I'll go grab the boats for that and let's get that thing put back on there. Well guys, unfortunately at this time, we're really not sure what it's gonna take to move forward with this motor. Uh, we've got the inside cylinders, they are moving just a little bit, but the two outside cylinders on the front and the back of the motor, uh, they're all the way down and they're just locked up solid. So we did switch and put some different wheels on here where we could put the car in gear, uh, rock it back and forth. Uh, nothing seems to be helping on that as well. We've got our harmonic balancer on there. It's still not turning it over. We've even pulled the pan off the bottom of the engine where we could check out the crank, see if anything's bent on the rods. Uh, unfortunately, the problem is you just really can't get at anything with the cross member right there. So at this point, I guess we're just going to pull this motor out, see if we can get it on the engine stand, flip it upside down, uh, see what the issue may be. Maybe something's bent, maybe something seized from heat, or maybe we'll be able to actually get this thing to unlock and move forward with it. Can you come forward just a hair? Okay, up. Okay, now back. Back towards you just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Straight up. Look good? So far. Okay, we're clear. Huh? We're clear. Thing's getting smaller and smaller, ain't it? Yeah. I guess I'll go grab that engine stand where we can put it on something to look it up everything up underneath here. Said, I hope we ain't got a bent rod. And go grab that and we'll get it on the stand. Okay. Well, I have to say that this has to be one of the hardest wheel it runs that me and dad have ever tried to get going here. Uh, we've got the block here on the engine stand now. We've got the pan off where you guys can see the crank up underneath here. Uh, now the reasoning behind this is we could not get these outside cylinders to move. So we basically wanted to examine everything, make sure none of our uh, rods were bent, which they look fine. I, I just don't know if these pistons maybe didn't seize up from it getting hot or something like that. Uh, them just seize in the cylinders because they're stuck solid. If I get on the uh, crank right here, it moves very, very little there. So I think what we're going to try to do at first is just go ahead and hit it on this crank with a board as I put a little pressure on it. Maybe that'll break free. If not, we're going to pull off these uh, end caps on these rods and just try to drive those cylinders back up or those pistons back up through the cylinder. I mean, at this point, uh, we have nothing to lose, so <laughs> I guess that's what we'll do. No. Nope. Said I don't know if we just go ahead and pull those. Pull those and, and pull those loose, and there's nothing that'll hold the. The, the cylinder then, you know, it should shoot, you know, hammer least, it back yeah, out through the down. thing once it's free. But. And at least... Well, that one's actually... So, you know, it's not seized up at the crank right. bearing there. The rod bearing. That one, though, is solid. Let's pull them loose and see. Eliminate what we can. Yeah. See, I don't know if it's both of them or just that one. It might be stuck. Got a little hammer or something I can tap that with. Oh, that was a big hammer. Just tap it on the side, maybe. Come off there. 
Got it? Yep. Remember how it goes back on there. Stupid fly. Well, that bearing don't look... Yeah. Looks like it's, it's had a little rough life. All right. I need to score it up a little bit. Come out of there. Yeah, that one moved. That one moved. Something moved. Let me try it again. A little over a quarter inch of the end of the piston showing. Yep. Yeah, I see it's that moving. One. Yep. So that, that one fine. is okay. As far as we know, I mean, as far as what we're looking for. One good thing is now we can soak down the, the bottom sides of the pistons. Where before we were only yeah, getting they were the top. Never getting, never getting anything. Try this one. Shame to go through this much work to to get it to move, but if it works, it works. Right. <laughs> kind of at that point where I don't know what else to do. Yep. Surprise that one came off that easy. Now that one's a little bit more scored up. Yep. There's no telling how she much. may not run well if she does ever run again. Here we go. So, uh, I see the whole bolt sliding down. Oh, I sure did. I start saying I thought oh. it moved, but I wouldn't have thought those were. You can tell they are made to come out though. Yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and take it out and then maybe we can just get that board or something. You think? Yeah, that'd be something more solid to hit. Whoo! <laughs> that thing there is stuck. Yeah, it's stuck, take stuck. this other one out so we can We just work it back and forth. Guess I could just leave it like that, even wanted to. Ah, uh, maybe. I felt like maybe, but like, let me get back on this okay. side again so we can just <clears throat> alternate it back and forth. Wait, don't get. It's just gonna be that one is. It just froze up. Yeah. And it's in the very worst position it could possibly yeah, be. Yeah, because we if we were if it was the other way we could have hammered it from the, yeah. the top side. But. It's really nothing. No way of getting down in there. Very It's forming like a where this penetrating or WD-40 is. It looks a like a little rust. rust. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's, it's at least doing work, something. Yeah. Got any more spray it down a good again? Yeah. I got this side. Uh, yeah, I did. Yep. Let it set a little longer. That's all I know to do. Unless let we, uh, a, let's let it just set a little bit longer. Now that the penetrating oil can go down yeah, that way and sit there. from the other side, come back. But that's definitely going to be our problem. It doesn't look like everything, anything is bent or otherwise. No messed up. I think if we can get that one to free, it might run again. Once again, I don't know how well, but <laughs> we'll come back in a little bit and see what it does.
So this is one we're absolutely not making any headway on. Uh, we've waited about an hour with plenty of penetrating fluid around that piston right there. Uh, that thing is just locked up solid. We've tried to hit on it some more. I mean, it's just like hitting a concrete wall there. Uh, but we did notice upon further examination, we actually have a crack in this, in this rear piston right here. So that could be why it's stuck so bad. That could be why they parked it. Uh, I don't know. But one thing that I do know is even once we get this brake to brake free, if we are able to get it to brake free, we're not going to be able to run this motor with this piston. So unfortunately, uh, I hate to be defeated on anything like this, but we may try to get this piston out. It may come out eventually, but really this thing's going to need to be rebuilt uh, to run right again anyway. So you never know until you dig into these things, and unfortunately, sometimes this is just what happens with them. I don't see why we don't just go ahead and keep, keep trying to get it on out. I mean, try. I mean, it's not like we're going to destroy that piston any worse. No. Maybe now's the time to figure out that this is the easiest way to get it out. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Busted well, it. Then. Busted it on out. The piston, though. But keep going. I guess. Not even moving a, not even moving a little bit. Yeah, I about to say it may break in half pretty soon. That piece about broke off there. Let me uh, let me try something real quick. I hate doing it like this, but I do too. Like I said, regardless, it's got to come out. Or it needs to come out. Yeah. Hasn't moved a hasn't moved a smidgen. Unless it's come up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm going to try a bigger hammer. If all else fails, grab a bigger hammer. Go ahead if you need to. No. I almost bounced back and hit me in my face. That's solid. Mm-hmm. You gonna try it? Can you get on the other side of the rod? That rod will flex this way if you need it to. Yeah. I don't know if that's moving some or not. Try it back over here. It was not gonna come out. No. Yeah, it's moving. It is moving. It is destroyed, yep. but it's moving. Keep well, going. that's good, yeah. There we go. Well, you can see it was Yeah. pretty bad, huh? Yep. Rusted up in there. Them rings, though, ain't even sticking out. That's what's crazy. Oh, it was all ate out right there. I guess it's rusted so bad. Mm -hmm. Well, we got the, uh, 
We got the problem out, but it does not look pretty at all. When we noticed that there was a crack on the piston anyways, uh, we just decided that we would hit it with a little bit more force. So that ended up with a hole in the center of it, but hey, we've got it out. So that means that this crank actually should be able to make a revolution now. What we're gonna do is go ahead and flip the motor over. Uh, we see the rings here, are, that this whole piston's just in terrible shape, but we wanna check the cylinder walls out to see if it's even salvageable at all. Uh, once we get it over, we can check that cylinder out and then see if we can make a revolution with this crank anyway. So get it flipped over and see how that works. Well, the back cylinder doesn't look near as bad as what it should. Right, <laughs> yes. As stuck as that thing was. Think it's salvageable? Maybe hone it a little bit? And hone it out a little bit. I've seen wires and people go with it, so. There we go. It's still got a little bit of a stiff spot in it, but right. I think it probably ain't been turned over in 40, yeah. 50 years. We'll just run it with five cylinders, I That's guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> we may have to. It's a cup holder. Yeah. We want to try to find a piston at this oh, point. We're, there, we're this far into it. I mean, I know it's not a complete rebuild, but I mean, it's a, it's uh, a will we're of just, run. We're just trying to get it going. We'll see if we can find one, I guess. Might be fun. Hopefully it ain't as expensive as the harmonic balancer. True. All right. Give her a few more turns here. Good to see it. Yeah. <laughs> a victory move. Finally. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can't find. Make a decision from there, I guess. Works for me. Well, after we did quite a bit of searching, we were able to find someone that would sell us a single piston on this thing. Uh, we've got it put in place there. We've got everything connected on the uh, rod ends and stuff. Uh, even got the oil pan put back in it. Uh, the thing about it is now we do have a working motor. So everything is turning over really smooth the way it should. Uh, now, is this the correct way of fixing this motor? No, not at all. Uh, will it allow this one to run? We're hoping so, but at, at the point we were at, uh, we really had nothing to lose and just basically everything to gain here. Uh, so the plan is just to get it put back in the car now, uh, put the head back on it, make sure everything is turning over with the starter, pour some gas down in it, and hopefully she'll pop off for us. Wow. <laughs> Things quick and smooth, yeah, yeah, ain't it? Real smooth, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. A lot better than where we were just earlier, huh? Yeah, I think the complete opposite where, is where we started, so. <laughs> I'm really shocked it's actually that smooth. I'm glad I'm not hearing any clunks or anything right. like that. So that was my concern. Well, we want to go ahead and grab that head and start bolting it on there. I think so. Go ahead and get this thing wrapped up. <laughs> Put a new. Put a new head gasket, I got a new head gasket for it just because, like I said, I don't know what's gonna come of this, but right. we're right here at it, might as well. So I'll grab that and get it bolted okay. on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bolt out here. Okay. We have to be sure we don't mess that gasket up. Thing's heavy, ain't it? Yeah. I've got issues right here. I've got. Okay. Exhaust. There we go. That looked like that set down pretty good. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh. That did them for sure. I think that was it. I think so. Start bolting her together. Just trying to get these a little closer. All right. Yeah, there's a there's a sequence you got to do to tighten these up. So I guess I'll pull it up and see. Thirteen. 
14th and 15th. Well, so we've got this head reinstalled back on the car. There was a certain uh, pattern that you had to tighten down these head bolts on. Uh, we've got the new head gasket on there. We went ahead and cleaned up there around the valves on the, on the bottom side of the head, as well as we've already oiled up these uh, valve springs and valve uh, guides all right there. So hopefully none of these valves are gonna be sticking once we put the rocker arm back on there. We'll probably go ahead and smack them with the hammer real quick just to make sure they're moving. Uh, install that rocker arm, arm on there and then turn it over and see how it turns over with the head, the springs, the valves opening, and all that good stuff. Getting really close to putting that carburetor on there, dumping a little fuel through it, see if she tries to bust off. I think that should do it. So we'll turn it over and see what it does. Uh, uh, I just want to bump it just to make sure everything. That one's moving so it ain't stuck. Okay, I think they're all moving. You probably give it a spin. Those were the only two I was kind of concerned yeah. with. Here we go. Go ahead. one feels a little weak. Ouch. The valve's stuck, ain't it? This one ain't working. It's stuck down. Uh, let me see if there's any other ones. Go ahead and bump it again. Okay. That one's stuck. I think it's the only one, though. Yeah. Man. I'm wondering if it's just not in the in the hole there good or if it is stuck. It looks like nice stuck down. Man. Well, I don't know. It is down, but you would think that it'd be loose in there. Yeah, I don't know. Yep. Yeah, it come up, so why is that one not? Yeah, do this so it doesn't get bumped or anything while we're doing that. not. I hate to pull this thing loose again. Right, but. Yeah. I think we missed it. Missed it. I think you got it now. Yep. It looked like it dropped. Yeah, I think so. We're probably right up on the top edge of it. Uh, so if we can get them to go back down. Knew that one didn't feel like it had a lot of compression. Glad you caught it. Well, one good thing is it's super oily up here now. <laughs> well, that's once again another 180 completely different than what it was when we opened it up. Yeah. Right, now let's see what we got. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All working now, ain't they? Yeah. Let me go through here and check them okay. again. Yeah, we'd have been running a little rough if we'd yep. have not seen that. Yep. I watched it moving up and down this time a while ago. It was, yeah. We must just caught right on the top of the lifter. I think so. The edge of it. All right, so now that we've got this rocker arm on there, all the valves are opening and closing. Uh, we had one issue where we missed the lifter just a hair. Luckily, we didn't bend that push rod or anything. Uh, so I kind of jumped the gun earlier and said, put some gas in the carburetor, see if she busts off. But we still got to get this thing firing. So we went ahead and ordered some new points and condenser and cool and everything on the fire on the ignition part of this car we've got new. We've already wrestled enough stuff with it. We didn't want to wrestle that as well. So we'll go ahead and pull this distributor apart, start putting those points, cool, condenser, all that stuff, get some spark, and we're getting a lot closer to see what this thing's gonna do or not do, or if we've wasted all of our time. I guess let's see if we're getting any fire to them plugs real quick. Uh, 
I'm getting spark here, so that's good. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. You get it. it is? Yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw it that time. Cool. Well, we want to try to put a little gas down in it? I think so. I don't know if we can fill up that float there or not. Probably gonna have to pull that carburetor off and clean it up some. I can't imagine it working out too well, but you never know. Taking it? Taking something. That float's gonna to try to stick on it. If it's not stuck, yeah. It'd be the only thing that hadn't been stuck so far. Yeah. Surely that's good, huh? I would think so. I mean, I put quite a bit in there. Probably put a little bit down. I'm gonna pull this loose here. No way right, it doesn't hang anything. or something. Well, I, I guess it's yeah. Well, I guess let's see what it does. Or don't. Come on, girl. Least put or try. As long as we've got the firing order right. Right. down in those so, cylinders yeah. too though when we were trying to get it to work loose. Yep. Oh. Battery's a little low sounding. Mm -hmm. Ouch. You are pumping oil. Oh yeah, that's good. Right yeah. there at it, ain't it? Get that starter too hot. Right. We may have to actually get some gas. Like I said, when we pull this carburetor off, I'm sure it's probably is. I was hoping that you could move that. There you go. Oh, oh there it goes. I hear some squirting now. Try it again. <laughs> it is there. Uh, can you, I'm are you going to do it right it, yeah, there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I think it might have got it too much. I just hit it too soon, yeah. I don't want to idle, huh? Uh, not yet. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't idle very good setting that line. I don't know if the smoke like will ever let up, but it does run. Didn't even clatter or nothing, did it? Uh-uh. No, I, I figured it'd be clattering and. Well, yeah, you had to. <laughs> I, actually, I was more of a knock, 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 knock. Yeah, I was hoping it wouldn't. Well, I don't want to chance it too much, no. Uh -uh. I already had. Let's go ahead and get a radiator, radiator put thing. on here and get some a fuel tank running to it. I said we may have to clean that up, but it started squirting there. Yeah. I bet we get that on there, we can get it idling and it might just move. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yep. Pretty cool. I'd have never thought it. 
All right, so we've got the uh, radiator put back on the car. I went ahead and just installed the old water pump on it. It was stuck, so we wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but we got a belt on it. It's actually circulating water pretty good. Uh, we've got our old faithful fuel tank here hooked up on it. Of course, just a little inline electric fuel pump here. So I've got it where I can just hook it up right there. On the inside of the car, uh, probably hard to see, but there's about a foot's worth of just rat poop all in the floor and a ton of carpet. Uh, we did get a uh, ignition switch put in here. This car has no brakes at all, so I'll be able to kill the car, leave it in gear, and maybe try to slow down. But I just want to show you guys something amazing here. So hit the key. Look at that. Sitting there idling. Not the greatest idle, but still. We're gonna go ahead and try to make it down to the other shop. If I can make it in here before it dies, see if we can call this a victory. All right, here goes nothing. No clutch is jumpy. She's moving. <laughs> How about that? I think our tires are a little big up front and rubbing some, but that's crazy. Definitely need to pull that carburetor off and a lot of the problem is the choke's just not working quite right. You know, normally when I drive stuff and say it has no brakes, I might have a little bit of an emergency brake or something, but I have nothing. There's nothing on that thing but the road, but the brake drums. <laughs> Ooh, tires are rubbing good. <laughs> Second gear. Wow. Now if I can just stop it. Woo. There we go. Ready to kill it. <laughs> oh yeah. Coaster on in. <laughs> we made it. Get out of this rat's nest. Well guys, who would have thought after the first time we opened up this hood and saw what was underneath that I would actually be making a block or two in this car. Uh, we fought pretty much everything possible on this thing. Once we were able to dig it out and see what we even had to work with, uh, we ended up having a locked up motor that was locked up tight for years, obviously. We ended up having to pull the motor out. We were able to knock the piston with a hole in it out from the bottom side. Just replaced one piston, got her all put back together. She's purring like a kitten now. If you guys seem to enjoy content like this, be sure that you check out our channel a little deeper. Uh, we have a lot of will it run videos as well as a lot of rescues on the different vehicles we've bought over time. I believe Christian has got the guts up to go ahead and clean this old girl out so be sure you check out her channel which will be in the link in the description. So this is pretty much going to wrap this video up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and we'll see you on the next one.